In this session, we will learn how to view a three-dimensional protein structure in a program called CN3D. In order to perform this, you will need to install CN3D, a free application available through the NCBI website as shown here. You will also want to identify the amino acid sequence that includes the site of a disease-associated variant for the protein of interest. So for an example, in CFTR, we're interested in position 508 in the protein. And it's also important to look at the surrounding amino acids. So in this case, we see KENII before the phenylalanine at position 508. It'll be important to know this as we start to work with the protein. CN3D uses a specific file format that's optimized for the program. So you'll want to download your file using the CN3D format as shown here. And now that we've downloaded the file, let's launch CN3D and open it. So we go to where we've downloaded the file and open the protein structure. You can see it displays the three-dimensional structure of the protein. Let's make our view a little bit bigger. And then below that, it also displays the protein sequence. So let's do a little bit of work to improve our view. So if we go to these settings, the global style, you'll see that you can change the default settings for whether or not hetero atoms are view visualized, as well as other um, ancillary topics. And you can also determine the default view for different parts of the protein structure. Your cursor rotates the protein around. And then below that, you can find the amino acid sequence. So let's scroll through that, looking for the particular sequence that we just identified earlier, the KENIIF. So we'll highlight the F for phenylalanine. And you can see that the in the 3D view, it shows that area in yellow. So let's experiment with our visualizations a little bit and change the current cartoon view to a surface fill view so we can see whether or not the phenylalanine at 508 is exposed to the surface of the protein. So we'll change the rendering and pick space fill. Doing so shows that indeed the phenylalanine at 508 is very likely to be exposed to the surface of the protein. So that's very informative as we think about the role of that particular amino acid in the protein function. We can experiment with other views, and for example, we might choose the tubes view, which is shown here, or we can return it back to, the, to that view, and again, we can rotate the molecule around in space. So CN3D is a very nice, you know, concise and very straightforward three-dimensional protein viewing application. It has a variety of other features that you're free to experiment with. In this session, we've learned how to use CN3D to view protein structures in three dimensions, as well as to determine whether or not a particular part of the protein is likely to be exposed to the surface. 